hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel so i have another thrift haul for you guys i feel like every single time that i film a new thrift haul i say it's my favorite one yet but this one is definitely my favorite one um this one's going to be a winter thrift haul and a few of these are going to be going up on my Poshmark so if you guys are interested in any of these items that I will be showing you in this thrift haul I will leave the links down below and if you guys are new here welcome my name is Dana and I have a clothing store called Wild Virgo I sell through Poshmark to encourage you to go through like your old clothes and put them up on any type of reselling app or clothes that you thrift yourself I encourage you to put them on to your own own platform um, like Instagram or Poshmark or Depop or any type of reselling app just to keep all of the clothes going around in the circle and to avoid from them going to the landfills so let's get right into this little haul okay so I'm a little sick and my nails are a little not cute so avoid that we're gonna get started I'm not gonna go through categories because I kind of just have everything in like a huge pile right here so yeah I'm just gonna go through the clothes as like I pick them out of the pile this is the first top that I ended up getting. I've been picking up a lot of champion items because I just love champion. They're so comfortable and I feel like every person has to have like a champion sweatshirt or a t-shirt in their closet. I feel like it's such a staple piece and you can wear it with so many different things. Um, yeah, so I just ended up picking up this red one and it's just like a regular champion hoodie. It's not vintage or anything, but um, I'm debating on bleaching it because I like to tie-dye bleach a lot of t-shirts and sweatshirts that I end up finding if they have like stains, um, especially like these because I feel like a lot of you guys like the champion sweatshirts tie-dye bleached. So I'm debating on doing that, kind of putting them on my Poshmark just to see how they will sell if you guys like them regular if you guys like them bleach so i'm kind of doing like a little like testing thing on my poshmark right now but if you guys are interested in me bleaching any of the champions that i already have on just leave me a comment on the listing and i can definitely tie-dye bleach it for you i ended up finding this cape cod massachusetts vintage crew neck sweatshirt and this is such a pretty color i feel like this color is just super pretty for winter but this is actually going to be a really big trending color color for spring 2020 so I wanted to pick this one up and because I just love finding anything vintage I feel like you guys um, love when I pick up anything that says Massachusetts or Maine on it as well so I wanted to pick this one up because I just feel like the colors are really pretty and I like the starfish in the middle of it next thing I ended up picking up was this Patagonia um, zip up sweatshirt and I have been picking up a few Patagonias while I've been going on my thrift trips because a lot of you guys love Patagonia and I didn't notice that before like I would always find the vintage like 80s 90s pullover fleece ones and I just never would pick them up I don't know why but I'm starting to pick more Patagonias up they're really expensive at the thrift stores so depending on the style I'm kind of like doing like a, a testing thing on my pocket mark too just to see like what styles you guys like so i ended up picking this one up this one's kind of a little bit on the newer side so but i really liked the colors of it i feel like it's really nice for winter and like the snow coming up i feel like it just goes with like the whole theme and you can also wear this in the springtime because it's still a little bit on the cooler side but i just love the colors in this i found a harley davidson crew neck sweatshirt it just looks like this this is what the back looks like and then the front looks like this i've never seen a sweatshirt like this like a harley davidson sweatshirt so i thought it was really cool i have two of them that i own myself that i just absolutely love they're so comfortable and this one's actually vintage it's from 2003 so i wanted to pick this one up i'm debating if i want to wear it once or twice before selling it or not because i just love the color like what i said before i've never seen one like this and i just feel like in the winter i always wear a crew neck sweatshirts and i just feel like i always pick them up for you guys too because they're just like a staple piece in like everyone's closet i feel like you just have that one sweatshirt that you wear every single day so i wanted to pick this one up because i just liked the color like i said like 10 million times and i don't know i just like the graphic on it and for me i'm pretty petite so this will be oversized on me you can't really see because i'm kind of really close to the camera but this one will be oversized on me and it won't cover 
my butt but it'll be like that looser fit the next piece that i ended up getting i was debating on picking it up or not but i had a jacket before that a lot of you guys liked so i wanted to pick up another jacket and this one is a patriots vintage jacket it looks like this i know i'm like really close to the camera so you can't really see but i will insert clips like over here so you can see what they look like on i did try a few of these on at the thrift store um so i will Put a little clip here so you can see what that looks like i just feel like with football season here it's perfect because it's starting to get really cold out in new england if you guys don't know i live in new england i'm from massachusetts so it's starting to get really cold and it's actually going to snow tomorrow so warmer jackets right now are like the must for winter and i did pick up two more jackets for this thrift haul but i just felt like this jacket was just a staple piece if you are a die hard patriots fan and this one looks so good with like biker shorts and it's like a white top like during the warmer football season and then like during the cooler football season i feel like it would look really good with like baggy mom jeans and like a big sweater or you can even wear like leggings and a scarf and like nike shoes um i feel like you can just wear this jacket in so many ways and you don't just have to wear it to like a football game you can also wear it to like your friend's house or like any like family festivities that are going on okay so next we have this boston red Sox green and red shirt it just looks like this i ended up picking this one up because i think i'm just going to keep it like this because it's in perfect condition and i feel like it would look really good if i cropped it or if i tie-dyed it um let me know in the comments down below what you think i should do with this shirt should i tie-dye bleach it or should i crop it. Okay, so I ended up finding this really pretty yellow main crew neck sweatshirt. I'm so obsessed with this color and I actually found another one exactly the same but it's gray and the only bad thing is is that when I was leaving I saw that there was a few stains on the bottom of it so I'm going to have to crop this one unfortunately. I like my sweaters to be a little bit baggy especially in the winter here like it's so cold like I can't wear crop tops because the air is just like so piercing on your skin. If you're from New England like this video if you know what i'm talking about i'm probably going to end up cropping it because it does have the ink stain on the back but it's still a really pretty sweatshirt this is the other main sweatshirt that i was talking about it's actually not like a gray color it's like a cream beige color but yeah this one i just love the colors because i love navy blue and white and it's super neutral so you can wear it with whatever you can wear it with black jeans light wash jeans any type of jeans or leggings I like to pick up these plain sports t-shirts because they're so easy to upcycle. You can bleach them, you can tie-dye them, you can crop them. There's just so many ways that you can change a shirt like this. So I have been just picking up so many Patriots items because it's football season and you guys have been going so crazy over anything Tom Brady or Patriots related. So I found this t-shirt and i thought it would be really cute if i cropped it or tie-dyed it okay like what i said earlier in the beginning of the video i am just on the lookout for more champion sweatshirts because you guys absolutely love them on my poshmark especially when i tie-dye bleach them so i found this really pretty navy blue one and i think i might tie-dye this one because darker colors really turn out great when you tie-dye them and this one i just feel like the color will look so pretty i'm most likely going to bleach this one but i don't know i'm like still debating on what i want to do with it okay so this is probably my favorite find of this thrift trip it is this warner brothers crew neck sweatshirt i've seen so many people with sweatshirts like this it was really big two years ago to have like anything like looney tunes on like graphic t-shirts and sweatshirts and i've never found one at the thrift store so when i found this i was really 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 happy and the funny thing is is that a lot of these vintage sweatshirts i found in the women's section if you guys haven't watched any of my thrifting videos i like to thrift in the men's section because i just find so many better sweatshirts and t-shirts and most of my clothes are all men's like 90 percent of my clothes are all from the men's section i found this in the women's section and i've been going through like the women's section more recently when i have been going on my thrift trips because i've been finding so many amazing like vintage crew neck sweatshirts that i just would never 
haven't even looked in those sections because I usually just go to the men's section and I leave and not even checking the women's section. So that is something that I will not be doing anymore. I will always be checking the women's like t-shirt and jacket section and like their sweatshirt section because I have seriously found so many vintage crew neck sweatshirts in the past month just looking through the woman's side. So if you guys are like me and you guys always go to the men's section and don't check any other section, definitely go check out the women's section more often because you will find some good pieces. So this is a Boston Red Sox crew neck sweatshirt that I found too. I feel like this one's just like really cute and it'll be really cute tucked in if you wore it with like mom jeans. But I just like the little like socks logo on the top of it and it's just like really like simple and like really cute. So I wanted to pick this one up. It's just a crew neck sweatshirt. Next we have this Cape Cod really, really, really pretty blue color. I'm just like so obsessed with this. I was debating on picking this up because it does have some stains on the bottom of the sweatshirt sweatshirt but I am going to crop this one to save the sweatshirt because I really felt like no one else was going to buy it if I didn't get it because of the stains on the bottom but when I crop it it'll be brand new so here is another Patriots shirt this one's actually a long sleeve shirt and I like to pick up long sleeve shirts I actually really like long sleeve men's shirts because they're so comfortable and I know that a lot of you guys like to wear like baggier t-shirts like just like around the house and like to lounge in wearing a long sleeve men's shirts are so much better I don't know why they just feel like really comfy comfy especially the uh, cotton ones and I just love this one so I'm probably going to be tie-dyeing this one next we have this champion navy blue t-shirt I've been picking up a bunch of just like plain champion t-shirts to tie-dye because I've been noticing on my Poshmark that a lot of you guys like those too. I put them in like the whale, the whale, I put them in the wave tie-dye look so it actually really comes out really good and super interesting so I've been picking up more just to do the same effect with these t-shirts. Okay, so this is the second jacket that I ended up finding. It's a vintage L.L. Bean jacket. I am so obsessed with these colors. I normally don't like color, but this jacket is just so gorgeous. I just absolutely love the color. It's going to be really popular for spring 2020. So it just looks like this. I actually saw a girl at Goodwill the other day that had like a Patagonia pullover like sweatshirt that had these two colors in it. And I saw this at the store and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to pick that up. So this one's just like a really cool vintage main one. It's from Freeport, Maine. And the inside is this color, which is just so so gorgeous and yeah I feel like one of you guys will really 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 love this for the winter so this will be up on my Poshmark this is the next thing that I ended up finding it's a tie-dye someone already tie-dyed this one it's a New Hampshire just tie-dye sweatshirt but I don't know I just really liked the colors of it and it has a hood it's oversized on me so next I ended up finding this Patriots Gronk shirt so I wanted to just pick this up so I can crop it and tie-dye this shirt. Okay, so we have three more items in this haul. This one is a 1998 Orioles baseball crew neck sweatshirt. And I am just so obsessed with this. I love these types of sweatshirts, but this actually has a lot of stains. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it has a lot of stains on the bottom. And it's like right around like this bird. So I'm gonna try to get the stains up before I sell it. Okay, so during this thrift trip, I found two Patagonias. The first one was the blue one that you saw earlier. And then the second one is this one. It's just this really pretty dark green color. And you wouldn't even tell that it is a Patagonia zip up jacket, but you can see in like the zipper right here that it's Patagonia. So I actually really like this. This is like so perfect. Just like run out the door. Um, like run out of your house just like go to the grocery store with like leggings and like Nike shoes and like white shoes white sneakers. I don't know I just feel like this is just like the perfect like 
go-to jacket. And then the last jacket that I found was this polo um, puffer jacket. I'm seriously so obsessed with this, but it does have a lot of stains. I don't know if you can see in the camera. So my camera just died and I ended up charging it for a little bit, but I just wanted to end this winter thrift haul here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked any of these items, I will leave all the links down below for you guys to shop them. And if you guys want to see more of these winter thrift trips, definitely like this video so I know. And I want to know what you guys have at your thrift stores because in New England, we have more jackets and sweatshirts in stock at the thrift stores that are around me. But I want to know what you guys get in stock at your thrift stores. So definitely comment whatever item that is down below so I know whatever state you guys live in, what is like the most popular item for your local thrift stores to start bringing out for the winter season and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye